Why is it so bad anyway? Well, do you know, like a lot of people, I thought, it's probably not good for you, but actually, uh, when I would read these um, medical reports that say that sugar is the most dangerous drug in the world, I thought, oh, they're trying to get funding, it's just headline-grabbing, but it's true. Of the five things that are most likely to prematurely kill you, according to the NHS, Sugar is behind four of them. Yes. And it's because sugar is now in just about everything. In three quarters of the things f that you buy in a supermarket, you will find sugar. The other day, my wife was buying some smoked salmon and she found sugar in it. So what's happened is over the last uh, few decades, um, the food and beverage industry knew that what they were selling was dangerous. They decided to then um, fund research that um, sent us off in you know, odd areas, red herrings, making us think you know, that fat was the devil. Mm. It's not, it's sugar. And then what happened was they pumped sugar into everything because it's highly addictive. So we became more addicted, craved it, and now we're in the situation that we're in. So we you've got some sugar-busting techniques yes. to help us, so fire away. OK, I'm going to do one right now. Try this thought experiment. It's not hypnosis or anything like that. But um, you saw me do this with the ladies just now. Think of a food that you feel out of control around, a sugar food, maybe chocolate, something like that, yeah? And get a compulsion going for it. Think about it. Yeah, make it mm, melting in your mouth. Then I want you to pick something you feel a repulsion for. So maybe it's chopped liver or anchovies or something like that. And then stick the two tastes together in your mind. So imagine biting into chocolate, mmm, and at the same time tasting chopped liver. And then, mm, if you really want to take it further, put some hair from a barber shop floor in there as well. And then suddenly what happens is the That's compulsion so is cancelled out by the repulsion. And the next time you look at chocolate, it's not that you won't want to eat it, you'll be able to take it or leave it so you will be in control. Because this, this new book and CD that I've brought out is not about stopping sugar, wiping sugar out completely, because, you know, many things with sugar in them it's are fun. It's hard to avoid. Yeah, it's yeah. hard to avoid. So uh, what I've done is I've said, just reduce. We need to massively reduce our sugar. Well, what's your, your second point is uh, cook more homemade meals. Well, Gina will help with that in a bit. Well, that's because yeah, mo most processed food now has got sugar in it. I mean, and tons of it, particularly fast food. And the other thing I say to people is, um, and I, I was saying this about 25 years ago, which is eat consciously or mm. mindfully. Because a lot of people, the research is very clear. If you watch TV and eat, or you're online, or you're reading a magazine and you're eating, you will eat significantly more. So if you focus on the food and nothing else, you will eat less, and so you stand a great chance of losing weight. But also, the food will taste better. Because a lot of people who are overweight think about food all day long, Except when they're eating it, and then they shovel it in as fast as they can. So when you become mindful and conscious of the food, you're more in control. All right, they all seem very simple, but hopefully totally effective. Thank you very much. Thank you. Give you it a go. Come back. We'll see how I'll you do with yes. this. Yeah, I'm looking forward I'm to seeing the, for the ladies. On there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank Gosh. you.